Well, I, um, I think that I have always been a change agent in my life, and um, because I have a prior background in literature, I've always been interested in story, and I think what came together for me through my experience in the MSLOC program was how those two things work together, that, um, change, that change is really about helping people understand the narrative of where they've been and what kinds of transformation can occur to get to somewhere different. So it's been really useful for me to, um, even phrases like mental models and um, knowledge management, all the, the various kinds of things that we learned in the program have just transformed the way I actually do things on a daily basis. So the, uh, the LOC principles definitely apply into many different parts of, I guess, my philosophy of how the world works, but also obviously directly into what I do from a client standpoint. You know, I think, you know, it's, it's becoming increasingly important to focus on the human side of business. You know, traditionally we've, we've done so much work in looking at processes or technology and, you know, functional, you know, structures within the company, but we don't really focus enough on the uh, psychology of people because really, in my, my view, which, which directly ties to the LOC view, is that you know, the, the real performance, the real asset of any business is the, the human element. And so to really garner the, the full value of, of that human element, you need to understand the psychology behind it and, and how to best you know, manage people to, to really give them the opportunity to fulfill their full potential. Uh, so I think it's, you know, it's, a, it's a powerful mechanism for really promoting optimal performance. And um, you know, it's an area which I think is going to become increasingly popular and impactful in the years ahead. The MSLOC ideas and what I've learned apply, are, are part of me now. Um, one of the things I've learned is how to create sustainable change, how to deal with, uh, with teams, how to deal with, um, how to embrace innovation and how to actually embrace change. Now after I've learned about change, I uh, realize there's a whole new meaning of how to, what, what, what it means to embrace change. But how I use it is, uh, I cannot think about how I could not use it. Uh, the words that come um, are sustainability. The words that come, that come to my mind is um, living more global life, um, being part of integrated in the world, um, understanding the world, having a different perception and different mental model. Um, I most of the day deal with numbers, but it's all through managing relationships and leading change through numbers. So I use everything I've learned um, every day, dealing with clients, dealing with um, with my my marketing managers, dealing with my boss, dealing with my team. Um, one of the best experiences was the, the foundations program, which is exactly putting seven people together, not knowing anything about each other, and trying to create something new. What a perfect world! That's exactly how you start. And having learned that, and being in the lab of grad school, learning how to deal with it. It just gave me the, the, the best, best foundations to be prepared for, for the world, for the global world. Well, MSLOC principles, I find them absolutely fascinating and they can extend to anything. So actually, not necessarily the work I do, because I'm sort of a part-time consultant, but when the Bears decided that they needed a new general manager, and decided to hire Phil Emery and all of the conversation around that was very fascinating because the caller in to talk radio, it's all about the X's and O's, but I was actually listening for what was the organizational impact. So when you change a leader, what does that mean about how you know the coach or the, the coaching staff will interact and what kind of leader were they looking for and why might the family be looking for that kind of leader. So the same sort of experience, you have some people trying to figure out what it would mean for the draft and I was trying to figure out what it meant for the organization. So I just find LS, LSC principles apply to various aspects of life. LSC principles and a lot of the uh, a lot of the pillars of the program apply pretty much to my work every single day. Um, in my role on board the Mackinac, I have to execute strategic change almost every single day, and I have to apply a lot of the talents and a lot of the skills that were part of the program to be appreciative, to help uh, 
meet people where they are to do effective leadership development and effective uh, compliance of the ship's program so that the ship can complete missions safely and make sure that uh, the taxpayer is getting the most uh, benefit from uh, the single platform that we have. Uh, every day I use something from the program, whether it's being appreciative and trying to look at things more positively, uh, to finding better ways to measure performance, uh, to just hands-on deck plate level training. Everything that the MSLC program is very effective in my current role. The work that I do now is easy, right? So I am a change management consultant um, for large software implementations, which means that I employ change management concepts or principles to helping people get from using a really bad, old, obsolete technology system or systems in some cases and I get them moving along to where they, knew this, they can use this new one um, without having a lot of hiccups along the way for really large Fortune 500 companies. I use change management principles about communication, um, about, uh, goodness, all of them and getting people along. As far as my worldview, that's a great question. I probably think about, I think about everything differently. MSLOC changed my life, um, it helped me I stop and think a little bit more about why people are saying what they're saying and what their motivations are and how I can how I can impact that and how we can work together so that everybody can reach the same goal, whether it's a personal or a professional situation. I think that's probably the best way to say it. LOC principles are really important. And what I think that I've really learned is stepping back and taking a view of the big picture of a situation. Um, I think I had been a lawyer previously, and what I would do as a lawyer was, was look at the problem. So it was a very pigeon-eyed view of what's the problem. And I didn't step back and look at the big picture. And I think the LLC values have helped me understand that I need to be in this, you know, look at the small point, but step back and see what else is affecting the situation. Who's the leadership? Who are the employees? What's the culture? What are the external factors that affect an organization? And how does that play into uh, the success or uh, innovations within a company? The MSLOC frame and, and, and it's my breath. That's how I live. It's personal life, work life, every part of life. I use the schema and the mental models and all those kinds of things in order to really get anything done, whether I'm working with my kids and trying to get them to make changes in how they approach life, or whether I'm working with staff or working with interdivisional um, objectives, looking at how people, places, and things really interrelate and integrate is part of everything that I do.